This is a nice layout, Jenny. But I think we need to improve on the headings. How about this? That looks good. Let's try to put them together. How about making this part blue? Looks perfect. Now let's begin our editorial meeting to discuss the special issue, ICT, changing society and the way we live. Could you start the preparations for the meeting now? Sure, let me handle it. about to start in a few minutes. It was such a beautiful morning, I lost track of the time. It's been a while since we had a sunny day like this. Thank you. You have a video message from Dr. Johansson of Noka Clinic. Could you play it for me? Sure. Mr. Reichen, I need your permission to disclose the data that you sent the other day so you can be checked at the General Hospital. No problem. That's done now. I have to be in the meeting. Okay. You look great, Raikkonen. It seems you've perfectly recovered from your illness. Well, I monitor my health through bio and wearable sensors that send my health data to my doctor. Everything is under control. I'll tell you more about it later. Oishi. In the aftermath of the powerful cyclone that hit Mumbai, India, after Sara, it hit India. Ah, Sara, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Don't worry, I just came in myself. Sara, so Sarah is not here yet, is she? I'm afraid so. Sarah. Sarah! Sorry for being late. Are you okay, Sarah? Yes, boss. Actually, I want to go visit and gather data on how this ICT network could contribute to the educational environment, um, especially during times of disaster. So, please allow me to go and, and give my report first. All right. I was right in the middle of gathering data for my topic, education and ICT network, when the cyclone struck. The city suffered severe damage from the cyclone. But although there's no electricity and gas, the communication networks have almost remained undisrupted. Wow. Since agencies have a clear grasp of the extent of the damage, rescue operations appear to be going smoothly. And since the shift to the clouds are at a very advanced stage, companies and schools have already started their operations in new locations. And that is why I will be going there to cover the districts where they will be making use of the cloud to start off their classes at home. All right. See you later then. Take care. You're next, Hikaru. You'll be talking about cities and the ICT network, right? Yes. For my report, I covered the Musashino Smart City, which is now the most widely talked about smart city in Japan. 
the city maximizes the use of wind, light, heat, and other elements of nature while minimizing the adverse effects to the environment. It makes use of sensor networks to offer a comfortable life for its residents. When the sunlight becomes too strong, the window glass, which is made up of transparent solar cells, automatically adjusts the amount of light coming into the room. And depending on the movement of people and the condition of the room, it controls the lighting in the room. That's great. So what's the role of the network in the smart city? The network sends information from a vast amount of sensors placed all over the city to the data center via the light network and analyzes them instantly. For example, excess energy generated from solar power cells in some areas is diverted to areas with insufficient energy. The network connects the residents to the entire city, making wise use of the resources of the city as a whole while preserving the environment. So no energy is wasted and people are assured of a comfortable life. That's right. Okay, Raikkonen, you're up next. Yes, um, let me start my talk on healthcare and the ICT network. First, take a look at this. It's embedded with the latest bio nano sensor. It measures body temperature and blood pressure? Not only that, but also your blood sugar level. It also assesses your health condition too. It immediately analyzes the gathered data and then prepares the supplement you need for the day based on your health condition. Amazing! It's light and easy to use, it's becoming popular with the elderly and with young people like me. Young? I'm not so sure about that. Right, Conan. Regarding your trip to Kenya next week, of course I'll go. Wherever I am, just this, and I can receive proper medical attention, like having my doctor check me up. And since it uses state-of-the-art quantum encryption technology, security is not a problem. What an advanced age we are in. So what do you think about Helsinki's healthcare system? Great, isn't it? Boss. Sarah, how's the situation there? The schools were damaged. So, the children attending these schools were connected from their houses via the cloud to the schools that did not suffer damage and have already resumed their classes this morning. This is a video I took of a student having lessons from home. The kids are doing great and having fun continuing their lessons via the cloud. That's good to hear. Great job, Sarah. Thank you. All right. Thanks to you all, our next feature edition promises to be a worthwhile read. So our next meeting, which will be our final meeting, will be on Friday the 22nd.